So none of the recs are going to be Good. I'll call the meeting to order. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that we are in Treaty 1 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis Nation. I'll introduce the panel members. I'm Marcel Laurent, who I'll be chairing today. Robert Rod Rodvick is the far left, Linda McFadden to my left, and today the assessor will be Catherine Smith, and our administrative assistant today will be Michelle. How's it going, Michelle? Yeah, Bell and Rojo will be our administrative assistant today. We will be hearing applications for revision of assessment role in accordance with the Municipal Act. The matters for which revision is requested have been described in each application and will be, we will limit the discussions to those matters. The statements that applicants or assessor make at this hearing are sworn testimony and anyone speaking to the matter must be sworn in. Be it that lies that comparisons of assessment of properties are not considered evidence of market value by the Board of Revision. The Board, Board of Revision is appointed annually by Council and is independent of it and the City Administration. It makes its decisions on the basis of the evidence provided at this hearing and issues a written order that will be mailed to all parties as soon as possible. Please note that the Board's decision with respect to an application may be appealed to the Manitoba Municipal Board if the matter pertains to an assessed value or classification or to the Court of Queen's Bench if the matter pertains to an application of exemption from taxation. Should you wish to appeal, information on how to do so will be included with the board order. With respect to the hearing process, I will confirm the matters to be addressed with each applicant following swearing in. We will then have the assessor's testimony followed by questions, and then the applicant may have, what the applicant may have, and then the applicant's testimony followed by questions. Each side will have an opportunity to summarize if they wish. Once all the evidence about an application has been brought forward, the applicant may leave. The process will repeat for each item on the docket today, and the session will close after all the applications have been heard. And the board will deliberate in private and make its decisions. You will receive the order by registered mail as soon as possible. As information, all public hearings are live streamed, reported, and will be part of the public record. And so none of the recs are going to be said, right? So we're going to start at the top. A.D. Turnstone. Yes. You're up. Yeah. Come up and have a seat. We're going to get you sworn in. Please state your full name, Catherine Smith. Any direct evidence that I present to the chief of the Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you have the option to swear in on the Bible or to affirm without it. Um, so on the Bible or not. How, normally how people do it. You can affirm or swear. Whatever you prefer. I'll affirm you. Sure. Please then. Please state your full name. Ming Pu Wu. And you affirm the event to body present as the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Please state your full name. X I U P I N G H U Shou Ping Wu. And you affirm the event to body present as the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, thank when you are ready. Okay, okay the subject is uh, 80 Turnstone Terrace, I believe, yes. in South Point. Uh, it is a one-story dwelling located in South Point. Built in 2014, it is 14 and 1406 square feet. has a full basement with about 80% finished. There is two full and one-half bathrooms, central air, a fireplace, and multi-attached garage. The lot size is about 4,700 square feet with no specific influences. It is assessed at $421,000 or $299.43 per square foot. The comparables are all one stories in South Point. 
built between 2010 and 2013. They all have basement finish and a couple, sorry, basement finish and attached garages. There are a couple of differences. Comparable one is 1,300 square feet, 1,302. It has no central air. It's sold for, and I will use this throughout the brief, on time adjusted sale price per square foot. It's sold for 297.08. Comparable number two, 30 Wild Rose Court is 1561 square feet. Uh, no fireplace, it's sold for 276.68 per square foot. Comparable number three, 107 Colburn, a little smaller at 1298 square feet. <coughs> Uh, no fireplace installed, sold, sold, oh sorry, I'm not reading right now, um, 1298 square feet, slightly larger lot but negative heavy traffic influence as it backs onto Waverly, sold for $322.03 per square foot. Comparable four is two Jelly Cove, 1561 square feet, um, one full bath and one half bathroom. It has a negative medium traffic influence on the lot size, slightly larger lot size, 64. 47 per square feet. Uh, it is situated at the corner of John Angus Drive in Jelly Cove, so it has the medium traffic. Sold for 277.77 per square foot. The sale price per square foot range from 277 to 322 bracket and support the assessment of 299.43 per square foot for the subject. And that completes my brief. Thank you. Do you have any questions of the assessor before you give your presentation? Did you have any questions on the information no. that you brought forward? No? no. Robert, do you have any questions? No, I'm fine, thanks. Linda? No, I don't. Let's move on to your presentation. Okay. First of all, thank you very much for your time and uh, to listen to us. We are really appreciate. Uh, in <clears throat> according to the mission of the assessment and taxation department, provides fair, open, understandable, and the defendable property value, and according to the uh, board of the revision mission, and independently established to hear a bill uh, respecting assessment issue in a fair, efficient, and judicious manner, with consideration keep the city of the Winnipeg. <coughs> Eddie Turnstone Terrace, uh, last year, uh, from 376,000 jump to 421,000 in the 45,000 jumps. So it's a 12% higher than uh, last year. So we, as an uh, elder, uh, elder citizen and homeowner, really strong to create the assessment uh, results, we thought it unfair and it's not correct, it must be amended. The reason for that, I know you, according to your system, you're here, but if I, as a homeowner, we would like to, to check the, our house first. It, uh, it was built in 2014 at uh, 327,000, and now it assessed at 421,000. It, uh, it compared itself in the jump in 28% from when we bought the, the house. And the secondly, the house value is 376,000, which is not finished the basement. Then, now we finished the most part of the basement, it jumped from 360,000 to 421,000, in 45,000 jump. It increased 12% for the last year. Uh, it compares with the other house in the market, in the same area. We have the several hours uh, house. That's uh, actually, it, uh, that's, uh, we, these are maybe more than 10 houses, but we particular and uh, share the information with you in several houses here. Uh, 45, number 45, uh, Cypress, KTG, it's uh, 1,561 square feet, finished basement, and the land assessment is uh, close to 6,000. Uh, so, 
is the 413 thousand. Now the value according to the information from the city is the 400 thousand. Uh, this is the one and if we divide it with the square feet, it, it, this one is the 256 per square feet. Okay. Uh, we check out to the page. We check out the 71 South View Press. It the 1331 square feet as finished the basement and uh, the land assessment is uh, uh, over 5,000. The price is um, 385,000 when it's sold. Now it's 382,000. It's less than it used to be. So if you calculate it, it will be um, 287 square yeah, by square feet. Okay. Now the last one here, the third house we use is the uh, number four hundred and sixty-eight. I uh, uh, stand Bailey built in two thousand and fourteen. Square feet is uh, fourteen square feet. Finish the basement and uh, four hundred and sixty-six square feet for the land assessments. Sell was is three hundred eighty-six thousand. Now a little bit higher. It well, it, the, the value it now is a uh, according to the city is a four forty thousand or four hundred thousand. Sorry. So if we calculate it, it's a so square feet at uh, two hundred ninety. But when we compare with this one. Our house here, according to the information you give here to us, is the 421,000 and B, if the total square feet assessment is the 299. So compare with this one we saw, it, uh, our house, it, uh, the, it, the assessment is very high, and also the turnstone carry is located 150 away from a premium highway, and 100, around 150 meters away from Kennish Ken Highway. And uh, 200, around 200 meters away from Big Garbage Hill in a really big south. And also, because of its uh, surrounding location, heavy traffic environments, we thought it, uh, our house uh, assessment should be lower. And there's uh, some picture from behind there. You can take a look. At the, <clears throat> we have several houses around. If I, on my house left side, you can see the view is around. Let's see. The second one is the, the, in the backyard. In the backyard, it, it, the, the other house around. This all see, you can see the garbage around, it, the view around there. And and the backyard, again, you can see that there's some wood in the other neighbor, and the view is wrong in our house. And also, the last one, the last picture, it may be the same as mine, that you can see that on my right side, it's 76, uh, number 76, uh, Turnstone Terrace. It's uh, in full of the carpets around, it's uh, insulation, wood, it's around. It not put environments there. So, in summary, according to the all data above, compared with the house itself, up to 28.4 percent, and compared the house around uh, from uh, 2017 to 2018, the assessments went value up in 12 percent increase. Uh, compared with the house in our uh, with the other house in our area. So we we thought eighty turn stone carriage four hundred and twenty one thousand assessment value is much higher than Lowe's house similar to or larger square feet. Besides uh, from three hundred seventy six thousand and jump to two hundred uh, four hundred and twenty one thousand and forty five thousand jumps in one year, we thought the assessment value was too high. It was a mistake. It, 
did not miss the real real you is supposed to be, it needs to be adjusted. Thank you very much. Thank you. Catherine, questions? Um, just want to clarify again, what did you say you bought the house for? How much was the... I, it, the uh, base price is uh, 300, uh, 327, uh, three, 327, 6,000. Okay. Um, that was the base price? Did you yes. Say? And then, so you did some add-ons onto that? Uh, just the uh, outside a little bit, uh, like uh, the, uh, the stone. Just yeah, the, you have the granite counters inside. Your plans show that you have granite counters. Yeah, oh, yeah. It, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. So you paid that plus how much? Do you remember what it was, the add-ons? Because I, I have a price of 367 Does that? Six, yes, 20. Six, uh, the around the uh, 20000 Yeah, is it? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So for that plus the add-ons, then add the cost of the basement finish and the added on. Yeah. This is your sale price, because the basement finish wasn't included in your sale price. Yeah, no, no, yeah. And then you also put on, put in a deck. Yeah, deck. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. That's all my questions. As no fence. There's no fence? No fence. Yeah. No. Linda, question? So what, do you have an idea in mind what your house should be worth? What What do you feel the value is? What? And there has uh, one house, exactly the same my house, and uh, also the same builder, and the same year, it's um, same square feet. Same square feet. We have a little bit uh, count, uh, like a uh, counter leaf, so a little bit like a six, uh, little bit. It's uh, like a four hundred sixty-eight stem belly. The, the one that I just mentioned. That. Yeah, if oh, yeah. you that forgot the right number. Yeah. Exactly the same build, same year, but uh, the assess the uh, value is uh, lower, very, very low. Like a twenty thousand. Yeah, more than yeah. Is that traffic? That's a main road standard. That's and not really. Main road, like no. stability. <laughs> we we have the traffic too in my back. Like uh, it's like a canister. If so you we, if we think it that uh, in condition or something like that, we feel yeah, it's sure it's, it's very heavy traffic there. But yeah, over there because uh, it, uh, it it not much. Only one street. Only one stability. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Robert? Oh, my question. So just uh, the couple of examples you have here that you spoke to, mm -hmm. uh, are they in your neighborhood? I don't know the, the yeah, area. Yeah, they're they, they, oh, they the old South Point area. Yeah. And also all the bungalow. Okay. And uh, you mentioned that, this, well, the information over there released a lot, but uh, some of them and they did not finish the basement, that we didn't do that one. But the one we compared with the uh, to finish the basement. We, we try to find it uh, as close as the information as, as possible. Okay. I think that was the only thing I had. So I just want to get this correct. You paid three twenty seven for the house. That included the lot or you bought the lot separately? That included, included the lot. lot. That included the, the lot. Yeah. yeah. And then you did the basement, right? Yeah. yeah. Did you have a contractor do it or you did it yourselves? A uh, contract. contract. What was the cost of the basement? I don't it's cheaper, twenty thousand. Twenty uh, thousand. Yeah. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Including of, material, everything. Yeah, everything. And on top of the tw three twenty-seven, you paid an extra twenty thousand for add-ons on the house. Is that what I understood? Yeah. An for the upgrade a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, ANS, the the stand the, the, the basic really high. price is uh, is uh, higher than another, so we don't have to do lots of uh, upgrades. Like, upgrade. Yes. Okay, that's good. Leave it with us. We'll get our decision and you'll be hearing from us. Okay. okay. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. Look at that, I didn't put one scratch on it. <coughs> yeah. Thank you very much for all of you. <coughs> Next one will be 409 Scotswood. Sid. Yeah. Please state your full name. 
said the story. And you said the unexpected presents the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Thank you, God. I do. Thank you. Said must be coming for an increase, right? Thank you. Good morning, Lori. Yeah, I guess that. Catherine, when you're ready. I can pass these pictures over. 409 Scottswood is on the eastern edge of the Bettsworth neighborhood in Charleswood. Uh, the subject was located in sort of a pocket of new development at the end of Scottswood, founded on the south end by the Hart Trail. It was a dynasty show home built in 2016, uh, two stories, 2212 square feet with no basement finish. Um, there are two and a half bathrooms, central air and a fireplace, attached multi-garage, lot size is 7,200 square feet. It is assessed at $576,000 or 260 per square foot. Uh, Bettsworth is an older neighborhood. Uh, the average age of the housing stock is uh, 1975. So there are a few newer two-story comparables found in that, um, that little neighborhood. Um, however, the, all the comparables I have used are in Charleswood. Each have multi, multiple bathrooms, central air and attached garages uh, with larger lots. Comparable one is 526 Berkeley Street is, is in Bettsworth. Um, just two kilometers north of subject, a block off Robin Boulevard. It is an older build, uh, 2004, 2,136 square feet with basement finish. It sold for $283.61 per square foot. Uh, but this is in fact an infill house. It's surrounded by houses that are the, of the 60s. The street has overhead wires, um, ditches and roads with no curbs and driveways not fully paved. Uh, characteristics of an older neighborhood that tend to pull down the value of infill houses. Uh, comparable number two is 848 Haney, um, three kilometers east in Elmhurst neighborhood. Again, it is a newer build, uh, 2,509 square feet, no basement finish. It sold for 268.75 per square foot. Comparable three, 10 Saunders is in Ridgeville, sorry, Ridgedale, uh, one kilometer north. Ridgedale is a relatively newer area with more modern aspects. Um, such as what the subject would have, no overhead wires, um, and paved roads, etc. Ten Saunders, um, built in 2000, is 16 years older than the subject, has basement finish, sold for 296 per square foot. Comparable four is 837 Elmhurst, built in 2014, uh, 2016 square feet, no basement finish, and it is in an infill situation as well. Sold for 278 per square foot. With these comparables, the subject's assessment of $260 per square foot is supported. That completes my brief. Question, sir? Yes, good morning. Did you have an opportunity to visit Scotch, Scotswood? No, I didn't. Meadow? No. <clears throat> it's quite different, I, I would presume, than Haney, which is oh, surrounded. Oh, Haney, so Haney, again, is another sort of infill situation. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. <clears throat> but Southwood doesn't have schools or community centers or shopping centers or convenience stores or anything of that nature. Right now, Scottswood Meadows is six houses. Well, yeah, it's a very small pocket, yes. It wouldn't have room for that sort of thing. And uh, this house wasn't, didn't exist at the reference date, until subsequent to the reference date? <clears throat> yes. And there was a sale on the house at... Uh, <clears throat> Six hundred and thirty-five thousand and two seventeen. 
seen your evidence? Ready to run? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yes, it was a step. Do you have any information as to what was in, what was in the sale? Or that you would I take it? No, I didn't speak with the okay. purchaser. <clears throat> I think those are all my questions, actually. Robert, you have any questions? <laughs> of the assessor. Uh, yes, I appreciate that. No, I think I'm good. Thanks. Linda? I have no question. No, I'm waiting to hear the story on this one. Yeah, Sid? the story. No, the story to be told. Let's hear the story um, on this one. <laughs> we're here to just do some housekeeping, actually, on this, because there are two houses that are ident virtually identical. <clears throat> on the street, 409 Scottswood and um, uh, 373 Scottswood. And if we just look at the front page, this is the subject property, 409 Scottswood, very nice house, two-story home. <clears throat> uh, if you flip the page, <clears throat> you'll see that the only comparable that one could find on this property would be 373 Scottswood. It is, in my opinion, superior to the subject because it's on a retention fund, the subject is not. Um, the house, they're the same built dynasty. Uh, they're both show homes. As that's indicated, one was, the subject was a show home, but they both are. 373 Scottswood is on the retention fund. I'll show you some pictures. After I'll pass this up. And we have a decision on that house by this board. And the 373 Scottswood and the board decision was $236.60 a square foot. <clears throat> the subject property at this time <clears throat> is at $260 a square foot. So it's $24 a square foot higher. It's the same house and on a better lot. So is, it, is the house bigger? Yes, it's 500 square feet bigger. They winterized the sun. Which one's bigger? The uh, uh, let's see, the square footage 27, that's 373 is bigger. See where it says living area 2705? We're on page two. On page two? Yeah. No, look at the pictures here. There you, yeah, there you go. Okay, so I'll go through it quickly with you. <clears throat> 409 is the subject, 373 is identical. Both built by Dynasty Homes. I think they're built at the same time. On the 409 Scots, where they built it, they winterized the sunroom. It's 500 square feet. That's what gives rise to the difference in square footage. The uh, assessed value for 373 is 640. Uh, the assessed value for the subject is 579. <coughs> the decision, I'll get to the decision in a moment. There was a decision by the board on 373 Scots, with a 236.60. The subject is assessed at 260.40. Um, if you flip to page three, you'll see the two houses are exactly the same floor plan and everything. You've got that. The top one is the subject 409. The bottom one is its next door neighbor. And you can see I passed all the picture. And <clears throat> that shows you that the where the two houses are. Mr. Chairman, you got the picture there on the right hand. Yeah. And <clears throat> one of them faces it's, it faces a retention pond that's across the road. From the subject house, but it's, on, it's deemed to be on by the city to be in the retention fund. And the other looks across to another house, so it's not on the retention fund. <clears throat> if you go to page four, you'll see the 373 Scotswood. This is the one that's assessed at 300, or pardon me, 23660. And that's on page four. On page five, you can see what I explained. <clears throat> There's a retention pond. The White House on the right-hand side is, uh, it's, it's on the retention pond, but it's across the uh, road in front of the search road to get the house. But it's on the retention pond. The other is, the other is at, just off the page. Uh, it's, uh, it looks on, it's, you can see it in that picture. If you go to page six, <clears throat> we'll get to the meat of it. Uh, the the uh, house was appealed April 4th of 218, <clears throat> the um, 373 Scotswood, and that's the one that's at 230, 260, 236 square foot. And 
then if you go to page eight, that just gives you the information on 360, 373 Scottswood. That's the assessment detail. And 409 Scottswood. <coughs> Get to the last page, you'll see again a picture of a house. <coughs> now what would jump out is why was the purchase price the purchase price? This was a motivated purchaser. He had a young family. He was transferred here by a, he was a real estate professional. Transferred here. Uh, he bought the house. It was a display home, but they had to rebuild all the railings in the open areas because they have a number of children. And as a result, he paid <coughs> perhaps more than <coughs> market value because of adjustments to it. Um, again, a motivated purchaser sold in Toronto. Came here and thought these homes and images were a gift in relative terms. Um, but didn't really anticipate that he's in the construction zone for a while. And anyway, in any case, we might, we're asking for the same assessment. I did some comparables for you. Bella, um, you've got the pictures on that. Uh, <clears throat> but the, the comparables Elmhurst Road, built in 214, 797, built in 207. Brittany Drive 205 um, comes up to 254. Looking at comps, 797 Charleswood Road has some extras. It's the best comparable at 234.62, and it has a home gym, a man cave, and it's a custom built home. You've got pictures of it. Though. Did you pass the pictures? To yes. the You've got a picture of it. So it's 234. It was a sale in uh, August of 215. So I don't think it's unreasonable, but it's an equity argument. We just like the same assessment per square foot on both the Scottswood properties. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Question. Uh, do you think it's equitable to have the same assessment per square foot of a house that's 500 square feet large? It's, it's 500 square feet bigger because they winterized the sun. I understand, the but it is still... Yes, I think okay. so. Yeah. Um, I also have a question about, I believe there is, yeah, there's a basement finish permit open on this property. Can you tell me the state of the basement finish project? Well, I... It's taken out early in 20... Pardon me? Taken out in February 2018, so I'm wondering if it's done yet or not. Uh, I don't know. So I'll have to contact you. The honest answer is I don't know. Okay. I've been to the house. I didn't go to the basement. Uh, I think it, it, your assessment record shows that it's unfinished, right? Yes, yeah. yes. right now. It shows it's unfinished. Yeah, we're talking about a value with an unfinished basement yeah. right now. Yeah, so if there is, if there is, if there is a permit that's been issued uh, and it can, increases the value, that then in your wisdom you decide issue of stuff here. Welcome to that. <laughs> but we'll at the reference date, a building permit taken out for a basement in 2008 doesn't have any relevance to an April 1st of 216 reference date. No, it's just, but it's for the record. Yeah, uh, well, it wasn't finished. Uh, if I owned the house, I'd finish it if I could afford it. So I, I don't know. Okay. So my question. Robert? Just, I just wanted to, to, to confirm that the uh, the exteriors are different, but the uh, the guts, the, the, the house, the same floor plan, exactly the same house. You'll see that a lot in the yeah. So I, I, I understand that. I just wanted to confirm that. And then lot sizes are different. Slightly different, yeah. Yeah. Which would explain the overall difference in assessment. Um, well, lot size isn't typically, doesn't, wouldn't necessarily plus or minus the difference in assessment. Generally, it's just the uh, price per square foot, and, and for, the lot sizes are drastically different than the yeah. adjustment, but probably not. I mean, if it's mass appraisal, they would they would group them. <clears throat> I think that's all I have right now. Well, that's all I have. Just as a follow up to that, um, you said the floor plans are the same, but do they have similar finishes inside? Yes, they they do. Both the two, they're both kitchen. display homes, right? And the only difference is when he bought it. It's got open stairwells. You've got little children. You know, right. they look through the sticks. So they put it, they had a, an extra done by the builder, which probably explains the difference in the price. Okay. Um, but really custom to them and with an understanding that they may eventually reverse it because it 
changes the feel of the house. It was an open concept and it may not be anywhere. Thank you. Thanks. The, uh, it's got a higher end finish on the outside, isn't it, on 209 and Well, she did have more brick, but uh, they're considered, they, when they were offered for sale, they, I believe they were offered to display homes, I think they were offered for the same, I believe. It, it, uh, it, it appears more decorative with more brick. In 409, you said that the uh, enclosure in the back is not winterized, it, it's got heat in it, does it not? Mm -hmm. yeah, they have to be, um, to, to be living space. They have to be four season. They have to be insulated, which drives. But it is insulated. On this no, house, is no, it not? 373 is. But 409 is as well, is it not? No, 409 is just an un unheated oh, It's subject. just that? No, no, it's just that. It's unfinished, but I've got one at home. There's no, un there's no insulation underneath or in the walls. It's, it's just glass and we have baseboard heaters. This is the same. The other one is uh, considered a living space. Okay, leave it with us. Thank you. Thank you, Sid. Have a great day. Thank you. Take twice as long to park as to do the work. <laughs> yeah, we're going down to G more now, aren't we? Thank you. G more here. Yeah. Okay. Twelve yeah. Bonaventure. So we're dealing with two years on this house, correct? Yeah, so... 17 and 17, you're happy with the number she's giving you on that one at 570? <coughs> yes, yeah, basically because original estimation <laughs> really gave me a hard attack. So, so 570 was good? Uh, yeah, compared to the original one, yeah. So, <laughs> and yeah. then the next one is the one we're going to deal with then, correct? Yeah. Well, you might as well read them both in anyway. Are they same, uh, well, they're not... Okay. Well, do the do the first one. Let's get the confirm out of the way. So the, I'm just going to read off, the, read off no, the recommendation. Just give us the thing of the recommendation. The original amount and the recommendation. Okay. Okay. So for 12 Bonaventure Drive, the original 2017 assessment roll was 674,000. It is recommended to reduce. The value to five hundred and seventy thousand to better reflect the April first, twenty fourteen market value. Okay, and you're accepting that, correct? Oh uh, yes, yep, but only for the, the, the just for that. Now we're going to go to the next one. Yeah. Now we're going to go to the one where you're contesting it. Up next. Okay, so now the twenty eighteen assessment. Um, so the subject is located in a new neighborhood called Freypont. Uh, situated in the southeast corner of the city, just west of Sage Creek. It is a two-story built in 2017, 2,340 square feet. has a walkout basement not yet finished. It has uh, one full, two half baths, fireplace, attached multi-garage. The lot size is 10,356 square feet with pond influence. A uh, corner of the property actually reaches the pond. It is assessed at $596,000 or $254.70 per square foot. Uh, due to the newness of the neighborhood, there are no resales in Freypont for this assessment period. Uh, the comparables are similar type houses in the greater area of Sage Creek, which is adjacent to, to the east of the property, 
and River Park South, which is further west and has the south perimeter as a boundary, as does Frequent. The parable one is 30 Bloon Place uh, in River Park South. It is an older build, has a finished basement. It is called pond adjacent, but it is similar to the subject in that only a section of the backyard actually reaches the pond. It sold for 256.67 per square foot. Comparable to 56 Farnsworth in River Park South, um, also older, built in 09, 2317 square feet with basement finish, uh, smaller lot, uh, pond adjacent, sold for 258.52 per square foot. Comparable 3, 148 Moose Sun Road in Sage Creek, built in 2011, 2513 square feet with basement finish and pond adjacent, sold for 310.78 per square foot. In, um, so, in an effort, it was difficult to get very similar comparables in an effort to present comparables with the most similar attributes, including size, building type, basement type, walkout being superior to full basement, and positive land fluence, and I use those three of the older stock for best. Although um, they do have basement finish while the subject does not, the added value of being a newly built compensates for that basement finish value. Comparable for 108 EB Clayton Road is in River Park South in Ewerville, 2013. Similar to subject in that it has no basement finish, however the basement type is not walkout and the lot size is larger, 15,000 square feet. It does have a heavy traffic influence, which is a negative influence. It sold for 600,000 or time adjusted, 237.59 per square foot. The range of uh, sale price per square foot, 237 to 310 bracket and support the assessed value of 254.70. I have included the plans for the property um, with my information because uh, I think there is some issue about whether it is a walkout basement or not. Um, so, so I have included those plans and the views just to um, help clarify the situation. And that completes my brief. Do you have any questions of the assessor before we make our, your presentation? Yeah, so, um, on the information uh, she presented. Uh, I want to make it clear, it is not a uh, true walkout uh, basement. And we'll talk about that in your presentation. Do you have any questions of the assessor at this time? Uh, yeah, so, uh, but uh, I want to make uh, clarify, so my neighborhood it is not uh, at the same level of state grid. Because since Greek, they, they are compared to us, they, they are high and uh, uh, community, and community I would like to say that. Yep. Because they, they have some million house, but, but in my neighborhood, we don't have that. Okay, you'll get that in your presentation. Right. You have no questions, Robert? Do you have any questions? Yes. Do you have any questions, Linda? Uh, I'm Let's go on to your presentation. Oh, uh, uh, first, uh, you do have a question. Uh, yeah, because uh, our square feet, uh, when we buy bought house, uh, the contract uh, state is 2221, but here is 2340. So... 2221? Uh, yes. I can, sh uh, I can show you the contract, but uh, I, I didn't bring now. I, I didn't realize the square feet is, is different with my... So I didn't agree. So you say it's smaller that? than the Yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, smaller than, I just uh, noticed that uh, when I sit there. Oh, that's not my house. My house is 2221. It's not 2340. Can I answer that? Yes, you may. Okay. I will. Um, review the plans and verify that because that's something that you, know, you don't have to appeal about. We want to make sure that's correct. What sometimes happens um, is we do external measurements as the, the total square footage of living area of a place. Sometimes on the permit, the builder doesn't will omit the area of um, missing floor space or maybe the, the stairway is sometimes included. Um, so it is a little bit larger than that would be more than the stairway, but if there was missing floor space in the home, yeah, that would account for that. But I will go back to the um, plans, and it's not always correct what it says on the permit and then what it actually sketches out, but we will do a review of that. Okay. Uh, 
uh, uh, compared to the show home, because we uh, we copy the show home exactly same as two two five uh, from Winter Drive East. Uh, they uh, they price uh, the assessment price is uh, uh, five two three thousand. But uh, uh, compared to the other show home, uh, half the uh, half uh, is a uh, workout basement. It's two two one uh, from the winter drive east. Uh, we are the same lots with the day price is the five four four thousand. So, uh, but uh, our lot is uh, a little bit uh, 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 bigger than than that. So we can increase because we pay uh, ten more thousand than the lots, so we can in, uh, increase the price, the lot price on, on the, on the assessment price. But still, but the, our assessment price is still much more higher than that, if I do the calculation. So I cannot, uh, I just compare these two, because uh, my house exactly the same as the show home. The price is much lower. The assessment price is much lower than mine. Why is two 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 five? Is show home? Is uh, our copy that show home? And they finished the um, front yard and the back yard. Oh, we didn't. Have fence. Yeah, they they have fence. We didn't. We didn't finish anything <coughs> on our back yard and front yard. But uh, our assessment price is much higher. Is uh, six hundred, six hundred, six, sixty hundred thousand than that. So I just compare to those two. Is that a do question? You, do you oh. have any good no, oh. That was a <laughs> that's part of a presentation. Okay. I do yeah. believe. Do you have anything else you wanted to add? Uh, yeah, yeah. So um, although yeah, so. Uh, we are close to to the to the pond, but uh, when we will see uh, the 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 drawing, maybe it's not uh, uh, it's not it's not equivalent to our other laws. So that's why you just have influence. Yeah, we we, 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 we just yeah. got a, a corner <laughs> attached yeah, to. Yeah, so that's the, why it's influence. It's not adjacent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and the, the half of the yard uh, is in the pond, so yeah. there is a lot of... Also, and there, there is one uh, home finished, uh, opposite to, to us, uh, also close to the pond. And they, they are, uh, I know they, they, they are sold price, it's like 770 sold. Uh, but but the, the, the estimation for them is Six hundred fifty some something. So uh, that that's a very very common. Yeah. So um, I, I compare to the, the I don't know the word they discount or whatever. So compared to them, uh, I I check the because we are familiar with our neighborhood. So and um, their assessment basically like eighty percent. It is very accurate. So compared to their sold price. But but for us, yeah, we, we, we didn't get that. So that's uh, why we have concern our house. It, it's uh, overestimated compared to our neighbors. Yeah, so just, just hope uh, you can, you could reconsider. <laughs> yeah. Look at the numbers. Yeah, the, the, I'm gonna see if she has some questions for you though. Yeah. I just want to clarify with them, um, you keep comparing assessments and you compare assessments with 221 Bonaventure saying it's exact same home. Yeah. However, um, your lot size is, I have it as 10,356 square feet of that, right? Yeah. And the lot size for 221 is about half that at 5,000. Half the lot size, I believe. Yeah. So, I think you can see it on the map. Yeah. Can you see that? Okay. Um, 221 Bonaventure, do you know what kind of basement they have? Is it, does it have a walkout door at the, in the basement or is it below grade? Yeah, the, the, uh, 21 is a walkout door, yes. No, 
Robert, got a question? Um, the question, maybe is what we were talking about, is the show home uh -huh. price that you were saying is identical to your home? Yeah. What did you say that was? Uh, it's, it's 600. 600,000? Uh, but we, uh, but we uh, add a price for the lots because our lots is uh, bigger than them. So the house is the exact same. The price. But maybe reduce some features. So uh, actually, maybe just uh, reduce the, the buy, uh, we reduce some features and to use that money for the, for the lot. But uh, overall, the, the price is the uh, same. Yeah. So the show home, which is identical, yes, is it was 600,000? Yeah, the, the same design, the same, same, same builder. Yeah. And yours is assessed? At 519, 596, that's the current assessment, is that right? Yeah. Am I understanding this right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's, now is the show home, because I can't really make it out on the map, uh, is I can it? I show you the show home. <coughs> uh, there, are two, there are two show homes. With the one that you're talking about. Though. So we are show home at this one. And this is your place this here. This is my place. And uh, that's the show home. This is the show home. The, this lot is the same as me. So this one, the price I know, it, uh, it's 610. Uh, 610,000. Yeah, and uh, right now assessment price is uh, four, uh, 644,000. Okay. Okay. So this one is bigger than mine because uh, our is the same as this one. This is a little bigger than that, so the, the price mm -hmm. is bigger. And this is a half workout, our is half workout. All this and the middle is the workout. Because our basement is like this. Yeah, uh, not the slopes. The slopes. Yeah. yeah, because the slope towards the, yeah, yeah. Uh, that, that, towards the pond. Mean, that's mean half workout. Yeah. So it, it should not have the same uh, assessment with the workout because it's, the, it's not flight. Now you're coming to Go ahead, Linda. <laughs> um, so you accepted you accepted the recommendation to value the house at five seventy for the for the twenty fourteen date. Yes, yes mm -hmm. that's my husband no. said. I I didn't know yeah. that. <laughs> 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 this is getting better, by the way. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> I didn't agree with him. She said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, I have knowledge. So I, I accept it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and you don't think that it's increased in value? I guess that's my question. Is that you know the next date is 2016, then, and you don't think it's increased in value at all? Uh, yeah, the, the, yeah, but in your opinion, so because the, the first year the, the original evaluation is uh, 600, 70, something like that. So um, my consideration, okay, I, I got uh, 100 deduction, I, I should be happy. So, yeah, so that, that's, and that's only two or three months, no, not a long period. So I, I just want to make life easier to, for everybody. So I say, okay, I, I would uh, accept it. Um, but uh, for, okay. for the long run, you know, we, we have to think about it. So okay, that, that's why you. we show up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, that's all my questions. 
The bedrooms are upstairs, three of them, right? Yeah, three. So the other area is open to the yes. bottom in the living room, is that correct? Yeah. So it's got that opening, so there's... Yeah. Mm -hmm. there that wasn't turned into that fourth bedroom. Yeah, that's uh, the typical rental home design. Yeah, because you can see downstairs from that little balcony upstairs, correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's where, that's where the square footage changes. Yeah. Because when you have the four bedroom on this model, they close it in. Yeah, but it's still, we go exterior, so. Well, you do. Well, no, no, that's not. No, not we either. do, but we do count missing floor space. Yeah, that, that doesn't count as floor space no, because you're of right. the, the, yeah, the, your stairway up and down count. Yeah, sure. but it's quite a big difference, he's saying, so I, yeah, I will look at that, it. That's what it'll be, is that yeah. one section is blown out. Yeah, so. Um, you know where the living room is? Yeah, the three, so it should be missing for it. Yeah. I thought, but does this. So you, you added that area of course. Oh, it doesn't, what's I didn't happening. bring that part up for us because that uh, living room is uh, really small, so we, we, we think that it cannot be the fourth bedroom. It's too small. If we add door at a wall, then it cannot work. Yeah, it's they had a too, way of putting yeah. a corner piece in it, but it shortened it. But the walkout basement, explain to me why you say it's not a walkout basement, because it, the plans show it's a walkout basement. Uh, you can't walk out of the basement. Correct? Yeah, yes, yeah. So it is a walk out. Yeah, but, but uh, it's not uh, a regular one. So because we have a slope. Yeah. Yeah, so that. Uh, so you walk out and then it slopes down? Uh, both slope. One slope is normal slope, and the other slope is uh, the other like direction. It slopes from the outside, so you can only walk out on one side. And yeah, so. so yeah, you can walk out of one side. Just cut, cut corners to make it. Yeah, because the other side is is built up this way. Yeah. Yeah, but it still it still has the walk out. Yeah, yeah that's what you call it. What you call it? I I just wanted that on the record. Right, so you're saying it's two 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 one on the square footage. Okay. I think I've got everything I need. Everybody's good. Yep. Thank you very much for your presentation. Yeah, You'll be hearing from us. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You need a fast break? We're going to take five or ten.
John Bruce is next, right? 916, you're up. John Bruce. Right? 916, John Bruce. Yes, 916, John Bruce. Can I start? Okay, please state your full name, please. Say. In the evidence about the presenters, the truth, the whole truth, and I think what's the truth? Yes. Thank you. Do you have any evidence for the panel or the verbal? Uh, if it's possible, I would be happy to say. Uh, this is my first time. I, uh, you know, I'm not aware how you, you know, provide all the documents, but I would be happy to provide over the email if possible. Uh, no, it's okay. We will accept that for Okay, sorry. Yes. Catherine, when you are ready. Okay, uh, subject is 916 John Bruce Road, located in Royalwood. It is a bi-level, built in 2003, 2,119 square feet. Um, it's a bi, there's a couple of different ways bi-level, the term bi-level is used. This one is because the main floor is about 1662 square feet, and the second floor is only a partial second floor. It's an area over the garage, and it's 484 square feet. So the main floor is about twice the size of the... Cab over. Cab over is another word. We use <laughs> bi-level, which really confuses me, because sometimes it is a bi-level. Okay, um, the basement is not finished. It has one full and one half bathrooms with central air and fireplace. There's a multi-attached garage on a 6,300 square foot lot. It is assessed at $453,000 um, or $213.78 per square foot. The comparables are all in Royal Wood, all by levels built between 2004 and 2008. They have multi-bathrooms, central air, fireplace, and attached garages. Comparable one is 77 East Oak, most similar in living area and lot size to subject, but has and has no basement finish. It's sold for Time adjusted sale price per square foot of two twenty ninety five. dollars Comparable to smaller than subject by almost 300 square feet, but has basement finish and a negative traffic influence. Um, it sold for two sixty five fifty two. dollars Comparable three, uh, 39 Larden Court, 268 square feet smaller, but with basement finish. Sold for two seventy two eighteen dollars per square foot. And comparable for 163 Tascona built in 08. Uh, lot size is smaller, uh, has no basement finish similar to subject, sold for 262.58 per square foot. Um, in summary, comparable one and two have no basement finish and sold for values that support the subject. Comparable three and four, similar to subject but have basement finish, both sold for more than the assessed value supporting the assessment. And that completes my brief. Do you have any questions of the assessor on the information she provided? Uh, just my question is, uh, with your comparable, would you consider to compare uh, 919 John Bruce, which is, you know, sold recently, uh, probably, you know, they moved in in September, oh. right across my house? Yeah. Um, unfortunately not, because we have a reference period of okay. April 1st, 2016, so we have to use sales that occurred okay. prior to Thanks. that time. Questions? Linda? I have none. And Robert? Uh, no, I don't. No questions. And on with your presentation. Thank you. Uh, I, I mean, just basically what I would like to say is like, uh, I bought it last year, September uh, 2017. Uh, we moved in in September 2017, so the price was $450,000. So there's no any renovation at all. There's no any, like the, the roofing is the same, the hot water tank is the same, and the uh, kitchen is the same, you know, the basement is unfinished, it's still the same. And then I thought, okay, so like, you know, I earn, you know, the money, so just, uh, you know, I immigrated here in 2003. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I wanna keep, you know, just my money as much as I can, but I also, you know, just, uh, I also, you know, just acknowledge that I, I gotta pay, you know, just my share uh, to the uh, CBO of Winnipeg. So, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, the reason I came here is that I think, you know, just it, it should reflect, you know, the price I bought. Uh, so it is not a long time ago. That was in September uh, 2017. So there is no any major re renovation. So if you look at actually, uh, I, I know the square foot is, uh, if you look at 919 John Bruce, the square foot is a little bit lower uh, compared to my house. But since you know, just you compare, uh, I think the closest comparison I can see is like comparable four, so which is I mean to my house, 
and then the, the comparison for 919 is uh, 1643 square feet and uh, I think uh, so the assessed value is $411,000 and then I feel actually just when I look at after I moved to the neighborhood I felt I paid way too much to compare to the neighborhood because I didn't have any relative right? I didn't have any knowledge but you know, uh, we were expecting a small child, so we have to move in right away. So uh, that, that, that is basically my argument. Thank you. Questions? Um, did, so I think you maybe answered this question. Have you done anything since you purchased no. the house? No. Uh, fancy. Fancy. Yes. No other yes. questions? No, there is no any other update at all. Robert? <laughs> No questions. No, I, have, I have no questions. I just wanted to clarify. What did you think it should be at? I think even lower than. It, so my neighbor, I spoke to you know my neighbor, uh, the nine one nineteen owner. He sold it for hundred twenty five thousand dollars. Sold for. What? Sold for. For how much? In September, four hundred twenty five thousand dollar. I think you could you know just double check that one you know to uh, see the actual price. I don't see the paper, but that is. Uh, that's what they sold. So they done brand new roofing, even before the uh, the, uh, the other owner purchased it. So uh, I mean, I wish you know you compare actually nine nine one nine. So uh, because this is one number one, it is right across the street. It's just like in front of my house, and two, it is on the same area. It's like you know just unfinished basement, but the uh, of course the square foot is way less than you know just my house. So I can only. Are you on the south side or the north side? I'm on the north side and they are on the south side. Nine one nine is on the yeah. south side. Yeah, side. And you're on the north side. A question about the sale. Yeah. I just noticed um, it was listed on MLS, but it said zero days on market. So I'm just wondering how you made contact. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So uh, uh, again, like you know, just we were expecting. So uh, our, our son was uh, due this since October five. So we're in a rush. So I keep checking actually. Like you know, I know where I want to live. Okay. So just because of for my child, you know, I want to send them to a French immersion. Just uh, I don't want to you know live too far. Also, I don't want to be in the suburb. If I'm handy, my ideal area to live is mostly but unfortunately I'm not handy at all so so that's the only reason you know just I choose to live in that area so what happened was I keep checking every day and then I teach also MEPI the the high school driver aid program right. so usually just I took my students around that area and then I keep checking I keep checking and then oh it is on the market so I did all the you know just the assignment and everything I made an offer right away so that's what I said I feel I overpaid actually for the place so Within one day, so right, uh, you know, uh, and then, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, that's why. So it was on the market only one day. Now your neighbor is across the street, correct? Yes. Yes. It's a smaller version. Is it yeah, I can believe that. Yes. Because yeah, that's sixteen hundred square feet. Sixteen hundred square feet. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, they always say the exact same, and then it's like. I don't know. I acknowledge that. I say that. I say it's a sixteen sixteen. It's a it's a, it's, a, it's a miniature of this one. He's got the bigger one. The other one's built by Green Tree across from you. Yours was built by a private developer. Uh, I don't have any knowledge of that. Maybe you didn't know the thing. I'm asking you a question. Uh, I know it's not relevant for here, but I would really like you know just uh, uh, was an emotional roller coaster because I was contacted by the city of Winnipeg. There was a fire incident in my house. And then I invited you know the guy David from the city of Winnipeg. So they oh there was fire in place. So did the previous owner acknowledge that? No, 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 they didn't declare this. Then are you sure there was fire? And I said yes. And then I asked him to come over and then to look at you know just all the place. He said, Yeah, everything is fine. So I have to send an email. They moved, you know, this, the previous owner, they moved into BC, and then I contacted them. There was no fire, so the clerk, by mistake, they entered. You know, there was ah, you know, fire in my house. So that was, yeah, that was, yeah, that was a stressful situation for me. So I know it's not relevant for this case. I didn't want to use any really. Thank you very much for your presentation. Thanks so much.
I guess you're up next, John. All right. Subject property, I don't know if that's relevant or not. When you are ready. <clears throat> okay, Levin Meadow Crest Bay. This um, subject is located in the River Grove neighborhood, located off North Main. The Red River is the east boundary of this neighborhood. It is a one story built in 1991. It is 1,594 square feet with basement finish, has two full one half baths, has central air and a fireplace with attached multi garage and a sunroom. Lot size, almost 6,000 square feet. It is assessed at $419,000 or $262.86 per square foot. The comparables are all one stories in River Grove, similar year built, 1986 to 87. Similar to the subject, they have multiple bathrooms, central air, attached garages, and lot sizes are similar as well. Comparable one is 27 Sandalwood Crescent, close in size at 1549 square feet, has basement finish. Um, it has a, a commercial adjacent influence, negative influence, because it is located, its backyard backs onto the Red River Boulevard shopping mall. Um, its backyard actually faces Sobey's loading docks. Comparable to is 6 Saul Miller Drive. It is 1629 square feet, has no basement finish, sold for 237.75 per square foot. Comparable 3 is 55 Saul Miller. Basement finish, 1378 square feet. Um, again, commercial influence. It's a condo complex next door. Sold for 294, 92 per square foot. And comparable for, for um, 18 Saul Miller Drive, smaller than the subject at 1338 square feet. With basement finish, sold for 276.53 per square foot. The subject assessment of 262.86 per square foot is at the low end of the range of comps of basement finish, which is 258 to 294 per square foot, and with consideration of no basement finish supported by comparable number two. That completes my brief. John, do you have any questions of the assessor on the information to present it? Um, I would just uh, ask uh, about comp four. You've got the selling uh, date is uh, 2016, and I believe that sold in 2015. We, we get this date from when it registers with land titles, so if it's late in 15, it might have not registered. That's the title right from land. That's the date right from the land the titles land registration. Title? Yeah, so be. sometimes it's a little different from Yeah, because it sold date. November 3rd on the 15th. Yeah, that, and that's a few months. And possession was February 1. Okay. 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 That's it for your questions. Linda, any questions? I don't have any questions. Robert? Just, this is probably not relevant, but comparative, comparable, comparable three shows zero full base, full baths. Is that? Yeah, sometimes sometimes that happens. People have, but it has two showers, so like they just they're, they're not a, a a room with a bath and a shower kind. Of, they just don't have a bathtub, but they chose to have probably a walk-in shower or something like that. So they don't have a tub. It's not. Yeah. A, is that how it? That's really? what that would indicate. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, no. That was just something weird. Weird. Yeah, to me. 
Yeah, just the three season sunroom is it's uninsulated. It's just uh, on the uh, subject property. Yeah, so yeah. You're asking over here. Oh, sorry. I believe so. Yes. Wrong person. Okay. <laughs> On reach presentation, John. All right. <clears throat> I don't know about the swearing of the whole truth, you know. Could be a while, but <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll cut a uh, short on that a little bit. Those are real truths. Uh, yeah. Here's uh, my big beef with this uh, assessment, and that's basically I think the house is worth about 350000 uh, It's just uh, we're on, this, on a different page when it comes to the assessment. So Miller, for example, is a very nice upper end bay, uh, and uh, it's it's in a it's in a different neighborhood almost. Like it's it's high end. Like River Grove is a very nice place. The closer you get to the river, the fancier it gets. We're uh, in the first block off Maine. So uh, by the way, if anybody ever tells you River Grove is all nice property, I should point out to you that. The motorcycle boys they meet at Tim Hortons across on Main Street almost every day. And then on Sundays, uh, whoever they are, they meet <clears throat> every Sunday night, all the guys with the fancy cars, revving up their cars. Uh, Sobeys used to be the spot. They have a security guard now kicking everybody out on Sunday night. And so they go across the street to co-op in the chicken shack parking lot. So if anybody wants to sleep on a Sunday night in River Grove in our area, forget it, because you're listening to cars every Sunday night till 2 in the morning. And we have a few policemen living nearby, and they can't do anything about it either, so if they can't do anything about it, I guess nobody else can. But it's not a quiet neighborhood that some people make it out to be. It's not, we're, we're not in our, our bay. We're the first payoff behind the co-op there. <clears throat> so having said that, uh, I, uh, I'll tell you a story about how I bought this place. Uh, I was like the other gentleman, I think we were in a bit of a, uh, a family situation where we wanted to live where we wanted to live. And it happens that my grandchildren live two minutes away. And that's why I bought a house, not because it had good value. So these people that were, had the house, they uh, are elderly people and they have an assessed value of $419,000. And of course, they want to have this house sold for four hundred eighteen thousand dollars because that's the assessed value. So no matter how hard the realtor tried to explain to them that this place wasn't worth four hundred nineteen, he got somewhere. They had it at four hundred nine. They reduced it to three ninety nine. Of course, that didn't sell. And then it expired, and it went on and on. And uh, my first offer to them was what I thought the house was worth three hundred fifty thousand dollars. But because my grandchildren mattered and whatever, so we paid them three seventy-five. So I know overpaid, but that's okay. The grandchildren are two minutes away. But that's why I paid three seventy-five. I don't. I know that it's not worth three seventy-five. But anyway, that's why we did it. That's the motivation behind it. The the house is um, in its original state, nineteen ninety-one. You know, which is fine. It's an okay house. But the value just isn't there. Now, the numbers that I, the, the dates that I gave you, you know, that I was working from was 2016. I thought that was our year. And the, and the comparables are all 2014 stuff, and, and uh, this one, 215. So I thought we were into 216. So my stuff is all 216. Now, I can also, I mean, you, you have all kinds of adjustments that you can make to these things, but um, I think when you go to some of the 2018 stuff, you find that the selling prices are a lot lower than the assessed value. Uh, and this is just one example, assessed value 419, okay, so I paid 375 for it, uh, which I, I guess I'm happy to pay, I'm not happy, but I'll pay the assessed value of 375, well, that's what I paid for it. So. Why it would be any more than that at 419? It's just in the, in the wrong ballpark. So <clears throat> the stuff that I pulled up in uh, 2016, the, the, sh the package that I have in front of you, uh, the first one uh, sold for 373. It's assessed at 387 right now. Uh, different neighborhood, but when I'm shopping, I'm shopping. I don't think it makes much difference if you're buying a house that backs on the co-op if you're buying a house on the park. 
can't find too many properties that are listed and sold that are backing onto commercial property. I have to list the motorcycles and cars every weekend, but so be it. Uh, 14 Sunrise Cove, very similar, you know, uh, neighborhood is much better. Sold for 380, 375. These are all are finished basements, by the way, in mind. Uh, 72 Scar, uh, assessed at 328 today, it's sold for 335. Uh, 1549 square feet, fully finished basement. Uh, 46 Wellwood up in River Bend, uh, sold 353, assessed at 374. So these things, these are selling below assessed value. So fully finished basement. Uh, 1189 Diplomat. Uh, selling price 295, assessed at 371. So there are some assessments that are, you know, mine's not the only one that's sort of way out. But it's sold for 295, and it's assessed at 371. I don't know if people are all coming yet or <laughs> just paying their taxes. I don't know. They all live next to their grandkids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, Seems that the assessor wants to live there too. <laughs> Their prices. Uh, 108, 106 Meredith Bay, uh, Garden City, uh, sold for 342, assessed at 350. 1580 square feet. Uh, 11, uh, one, uh, well, 111 Farrelinger Bay, selling price 347, assessed at 360. Uh, 128 Amber Trail, selling price 370, sets at 393. Merrick 102 Dunham Street, 340, so selling price for 340, assessed at 377. The last one, <coughs> 288, 22680 Scotia, well, that's in River Grove. Uh, selling price 350. Assessed at 446. So sometimes the assessors are way out. And not my house isn't the only one. Like, so selling for 350. Assessed at 446. So anyway, the point is that the assessments are sometimes out of whack. And the selling prices, uh, when I say 350 for the house, I think that's a reasonable value for the house. And that's what I would think it should be assessed at. If you want to hit me for 375, uh, fine. Questions? Yeah. Um, just what have you done since you purchased the house? Paint and flooring. New carpets. Carpets? Uh, my wife is in this. Uh, yeah, she put you uh, carpets in and uh, flooring. Some. Some uh, some fake hardwood. And the carpet in the living room, flooring in the kitchen. Uh, no, there's hardwood or the fake hardwood in the living room and in the dining room, and the kitchen, uh, the family room is carpet. And, uh, the bedrooms are carpet. The hallway is fake hardwood. Carpet and flooring. Okay. Thank you. No other questions. Robert. I just uh, the the your your uh, listing here on Wellwood Place is that also in the same neighborhood as where you are? I'm just looking for uh, River. I, I don't know. No, that's River Bend, River Grove. That's the same area, isn't it? Well, it's across the street, or you know, across Main Street. But River Bend's on the west side. Is that what you? And, uh, I think it's hard to do that. I think yeah. they're all river, Main but Street. I, it's Main Street. Main Street's the dividing line. Yeah. So they hear the motorcycle. I'm just looking the at the, yeah. I'm just looking at the area listing here. It's four E for yours. And yeah. I was just trying to get something. You know, try to figure out which ones are. Kind of I don't think it. For, I don't think it's a big deal difference. You know, like, I mean, some neighborhoods are nicer than others, but compared to Saul Miller, then you know, and Meadow, it's like night and day too. So. 
I just pulled up stuff from 216 because I thought that was the reference here that you were supposed to do stuff. Mm -hmm. If you want to go look at other stuff, I got, I can do one of these. Yeah. You know, Senate hearings where they have the, the data dump. <laughs> the data dump. <laughs> yeah. I would I recommend you hang on to these though because you'll get a reassessment letter for 2020 sooner than later. And yes. These will be relevant for that. So. Oh, well. I'll save you some work <laughs> in case we help you again. No, I'm, otherwise I'm good. You're good? Linda? No questions. And I'm good. Thank you very much right, for your presentation, you. John. All right. You have a great day. What's well, left of it? It's early. Uh, you can still get a golf game. I'm going to find my car. <laughs> Uh, Catherine, you, can you read the recommendations onto the record, please? Okay. Just the address and the, From two. the number and the other part, please. Okay, I have 48 Waterbury. Waterbury. Uh, special order, do you want to call the address? Yeah, I'll let you call the address. Okay, 48 Waterbury. Recommended to reduce the assessment from 979000 to 800000 to better reflect the April 1st, 2016 market value. That's for the 2019. 800000 right? 800000 yes. You got that? Mm -hmm. Next one will be? Um, 757 Oak Street. Um, 757 Oak. Let me get there. Yeah. Okay, I'm there. Good. 757 Oak Street, 2019 assessment. Um, recommended to reduce the assessment from 623,000 to 550,000 to better reflect the April 1st, 2016 market value. Recommendation has been accepted by the owner for both of those. Okay. Um, 30 Paradise Bay. Yep. 2019 assessment recommendation to reduce the assessment from 576,000 to 540,000 to better reflect the April 1st, 2016 market value. Recommendation accepted by owner Jason Kirsch. Thank you. Next is 412 Cambridge. Okay. 2019 assessment recommendation to reduce the assessment from 302,000 to 285,000 to better reflect the April 1st, 2016 market value. O recommendation accepted by owner Joyce Bateman. Thank you. And um, last one is 16 pairs of flats garage. This was a request for increase to assessment. Which number is that now? 60, I'm not sure how to say it, Paris. Perro Black. Perro Black. Oh, Perro okay. Perro <laughs> <laughs> um, Recommendation to increase the assessment from 357,000 to 377,000 to better reflect their corrected characteristics. Recommendation accepted by owner Diana Bloodworth. Well, you don't see that very often. No, I had two on this document that requested. But you didn't change it. That's, I hope that's all I have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Thank you. Thank